guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video, I brought you some different content than usual. Card tricks. So yeah. Um, first I'm gonna shuffle the deck. I'm not good at card tricks. I'm not good at shuffling. But I can definitely move them around a bit. So I moved them around a bit. And I'm gonna be showing you how to do this trick. I'm gonna be performing the trick and doing it. <coughs> magic bag. This is a magic bag. What card should we use? Magic bag. We'll do the nine of clubs because club. I don't know. Because nine is a cool number, I guess. Before ten. Nine is looking it. fine. That's why. Don't and you I'm, ask. And I'm nine. Okay. So, how many cards till the nine of clubs? You. Five. We'll do five. One, two, eight, 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 eight. Just straight in the deck. Wait. Not five. How did you say? Five. One, two, three, four. I messed up. Yeah. Okay, the nine of clubs. Nine of clubs. Nine of clubs. Nine of clubs. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Damn, nine of clubs. And, and you know what? You know what? I'll uh, shuffle, the, I shuffle deck? the deck. I'll I, shuffle the deck. I, I'll shuffle it. I'll shuffle. And this time, okay, yeah, you shuffle it. You shuffle it. And these he's are not nice, in on this. These are nice cards. We got some other cards here. I decided to use those ones for this video. He's not good at shuffling. He might take a minute. And we'll take a new card each time, not just the Nine of Clubs. So you guys know it's just not for the Nine of Clubs. I'm pausing with you. So I got this, right? Magic bag is magic gonna tag. Us. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Eight of clubs. Instead of him, we'll use from this fire truck. Th five, three. Nah, eh, well, too high of a number. That says thirty-five. Uh, we'll take the number from a card on this deck. We'll take eight. Okay. How many cards till you said eight of clubs? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Eight of clubs. I think, yeah, eight of clubs. And you know what? I'll do this time. He'll do it. Okay, he'll do it. Better lighting over here, so. Wait. Oh, that is better lighting. Okay, here you go. You can do it. Thank you. How many cards till the magic bag? Magic bag's over here. Look at the magic bag when you speak. How many cards? Okay, what card do you What? Oh, okay, the eight of diamonds. He said the eight of diamonds, okay. One, two, oh wait, how much? He said, oh, four? Okay, okay, okay. He said four, what I don't know. What was the card? What was the card? Okay, okay, I'm sorry. So I, he was what card is it? Talking a little different. Eight of diamonds. Eight of diamonds, four. okay. Here is the eight of diamonds. Hold on, my bad. Eight of diamonds. Eight of diamonds. If, and so, just, just, that's just how you perform the trick. Okay. That's how I perform the trick. It takes a while to get good at, but here's how to do it. So, none of the other deck, none of the 51 other cards in this deck matter. Except for the... And this... I can do this. You want me to... Do you want to do it, or do you want me to I do this? I There's better lighting can I, can I sit over there, please? yeah. yeah. So this magic bag was not actually talking to us, obviously. But nothing, none, none, nothing out of the 51 other cards matter except for the top card. Top card in this thing is eight of clubs. Well, we already did that one. We use three of diamonds. So nothing, none of the other 51 cards. Nobody cares about those except for the top card, which is whatever card you have. For this example, we'll do three of diamonds because that's my top card. And then, you want, and then once you ask. The person will go like, uh, we'll go with five. You want to keep that card on the bottom at all times. See, so look, I'm grabbing the card and putting it on top. And we keep on doing this for how many they say. If they say 51, try and do 51. No and like how many times. It's stressful to do it for a hard number if you can't go through the, like a high number. If you can't go through the cards a lot really fast. You got to get good at it. Yeah. And it'll eventually you'll just be able to just 
which I've done this after a day of practicing. Which a day of practicing seems like a lot, but it really only takes 20 minutes to like get somewhat good at it. And I know other tricks too. One. Actually, I know two. I'll do this one. So, well, you need to go face to face. We'll use Reese, for example. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to lay out. You, okay, this isn't a good way to do it, but you lay out cards on the floor, how many ever you want. We'll do four, four with three. And then you lay it out. You know, it's not a good example. But you lay it out, blah, blah, blah. And it doesn't matter, it doesn't have to be perfect. And the person chooses their card. Let's say I choose row three, is what your, my card is in. I'll take that row first. You must take that row first. I, I chose the ace of spades, is what I chose. chose the ace so let's say I choose, choose the ace of spades. Okay. And you want to take that row first with the ace of spades in it, or whatever card they chose. But you don't want to know the card. You want to take that row that they said first, and you kind of want to take other rows. Make sure you put the rows on the bottom. Or no, I'm doing this wrong. Give me a minute, I'm doing this wrong. My bad, let's guys. Say, let's say I choose the nine of nine of spades, but I don't. Nine but he doesn't know that. I, I mean, I don't know that. I take the nine of spades row. No, no, wait. Before he does that, he asks me what row it's in. Yeah, I, I say it. row. Um, for me, it's three. Yeah. And then you take the thing. You take that one first, and you want to keep. You want to turn it over. And then keep all those cards. Put them below, in front. The, the, the row with the nine of spades should be first. And you want to keep on doing it. Just put it. See, so these first three cards will be the row with the nine of spades. You want to put them in front. In front of the deck. Okay. And then you want to keep on doing that. I just learned this one today. And then, you want to lay them back out. See, four. And then, you want to, once you're done laying them out, here's what you want to keep in mind. Once you're done laying them out, it doesn't matter about any other cards. It doesn't matter about any other cards in the row, except for the top ones. So, like, here you do it. So, whenever... So here's what it might, here's just an, I'm sorry, I can't and really talk. Here's what an example looks like. See, so. And so let's say, um, for me, and then I ask, what, and then, what row is your card in? And then the, he says. He says row three, since the nine of spaces is in row three. And, and then you don't want to worry about any of these cards. It's about the top card. Whichever row he says in, the top card should be the top, should be the card that they chose. So, so that's the other one. And then, and then you say... And I'm not sharing any other ones with you. Your card, your card is whatever card you chose. I would say the nine of spades. Yeah. All right. Bye.